Hello and welcome to your quick news, current event, and stimulus update. Today we're going to look at where the presidential election stands, how Biden has taken a lead in Georgia, and which state that could lead to a Democratic Senate with a very, very tight-knit race. We'll also see what destinations are taking U.S. tourists these days, check in on the stock market, and finally, of course, I'll cover your latest juicy stimulus package updates. Let's end this work week strong. Let me know if you've got any plans this weekend, especially with all this election chaos. Are you doing anything to kind of get your mind off of all this? Also, make sure you help me combat the YouTube algorithm's disdain for short videos by liking, subscribing, and watching the entire update. So Joe Biden's lead from yesterday remains with 264 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 214. Biden only needs six more votes to secure a win in this 2020 election pandemic edition. I don't know about you, but about every two hours, I'm still refreshing that election status chart on Google just to see like how the votes are changing. Does this state have another thousand votes? That chart is just so damn addicting, let me tell you. With a surprise turn of events, Georgia has given Joe a slight lead, leaving all eyes fall falling to this important state, not only on the presidential race, but the Senate race as well. Without any of the 20 Senate candidates in Georgia who are running able to receive over 50% of the votes, as of now, Georgia could be looking at a runoff election on January 5th, also known as a second election. The candidates that would be moving on to this election include two Democrats, Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff, opposite of two Republicans, Kelly Loeffner and David Perdue. A win here is a must for Democrats to reach their goal of having the majority in the Senate. They need this to happen. Ossoff and Perdue's race leans more towards Republican as of right now, with Purdue dropping just under 50% of the votes in the latest count, but this of course could change. John Ossoff has run three times before, losing each time. That is a bummer. Both Democrats and Republicans, though, are confident that they will win a runoff election if it comes down to it. So among all this crazy political chaos we've been dealing with, you might find yourself wanting to go away for a vacation, if you're healthy, that is, of course. Whether it's recommended or not, it's it's probably not recommended. Surprisingly, a negative test for COVID-19 means there are some prominent locations you could escape to for a little bit of uh, rest and relaxation. To start this off, we have the sun-kissed islands of the Bahamas, which you can visit with a negative COVID-19 PCR test result that's no older than five days, and a Bahamas travel health visa. Our next island paradise you can visit is Jamaica. Following their travel website's explicit testing instructions, you can visit with a clean test that is less than 10 days old. So if you're looking for a vacation, there you go. Or if you're looking to stay home and stay completely safe, you should do so and pick up a free stock with my link for Webull down below and you'll support this channel while you're at it. Following a four day rally this week, the market is taking a bit of a dip as election results drag on and boy, they are dragging on. However, the Labor Department reported creating 638,000 jobs last month, up significantly over the estimates. Finally, let's wrap up with some Juicy stimulus news. As I discussed at the beginning, the Georgia Senate race will play a major role in how and when a stimulus package will pass. If Democrats take the majority in the Senate, we would most likely be looking at a big $2.2 trillion package. There seems to be new development where both Speaker Nancy and the President do not want to have a large stimulus bill on their debt record, though. Nancy is pushing to get a bill passed before January 20th to avoid potentially having a large debt resting on the Biden administration. And and Trump has advised that he does not want to leave the presidency, adding more debt to his presidential run. This is simply insane and very frustrating. They want to have slightly better stats in order to save face while openly holding back stimulus from the people. It's so frustrating. Just help the people. Who cares about the stats if you're actually making a difference? With a few more days of votes to be counted, we'll see if the mood swings of these politicians can render us some good results finally. So that's all we have for today in your current event and stimulus update. Again, help me master the YouTube algorithm by crushing the like button and subscribing if you want to stay up to date on all things news and stimulus. And of course, have a profitable day.